Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Reagan. So I got a pretty sad email today and that is that Vapor Beauty is closing. So they are doing some sales and stuff. Check out their site if you like wanna stock up if they're one of your favorite brands or something or they have some of your favorite products. But I decided today, I was going to do a different video. I was actually going to do a tag video so that'll get pushed to a later date. But I decided today that I wanted to sit down and do an ode to Vapor Beauty with you all. So if you didn't know this brand, or I feel like most people in the clean space know it because it's just one of the like original OG brands. Like when I think about the clean space, when I think about the first brands that really put it on the map, in terms of makeup and color cosmetics, I truly do think of Vapor and I think of Ilia. Kosas came a little bit later, like I would say like a year or so, maybe two, but Vapor and Ilia were like the grandfathers, grandmothers of this movement. And we've seen Ilia kind of like take off in the more conventional realm and go into Sephora and really become a powerhouse and all of that. And Vapor, I think we've seen switch so many times like what they're doing. Like they started out as Vapor Organic Beauty, then they became Vapor Beauty and they've relaunched things, reformulated things, rebranded. And I just think it's a hard space to be in color cosmetics. Um, I have my own like small independent brand myself, but it's not a cosmetic brand and it's a skincare line. And the thing about color cosmetics, you have so many SKUs, you're trying to keep up with trends. And yeah, I just think the space has changed so much. And I, I don't know, I, it would be interesting to more kind of know with the founders, like why they're closing. But I almost feel like it's like they got too big in some ways for clean beauty, but they didn't really know where to go. Yeah, for like small, independent, clean, green beauty. So yeah, that's just my personal opinion. But I really like some of their products over the years. Like I have reviewed them. They were some of the first products I ever purchased from Credo Beauty when the first store in San Francisco opened up. Gosh, this was in like 2014-ish, 2015. And yeah, it's, it's just weird. It's weird how time has passed and I wanna just sit down and do a full face with you all. So I know this is kind of blabby as an intro and I'm a little bit somber because yes, I am sad about this. I do use their products. Um, and yeah, uh, there will be other things though I know that will launch in Clean Beauty and we've seen new brands like Westman Atelier come into the picture and some others. So, you know, onward and upward, but before we go onward, I just wanted to do one last look with you all from Vapor. All right, so I'm just going to start by pinning my hair back because I have the shorter bob now, but I, I don't know about you guys. I feel like my hair isn't quite bob. Like it's a little longer than a bob. It's shorter than a lob, but longer than a bob. So, and maybe it's just because when you have short hair, your hair grows really fast. So when I first got it cut, it felt really short. Now I'm like, yeah, this isn't even that short. Anyway, let's let's do some makeup. So I actually have three primers from Vapor. So I have their Gentle Illuminating Primer, their Essential Daily Primer, and then this is their old school, from back in the day, Stratus Luminous Skin Perfecting Primer. So they did a whole rebrand, I would say three or so years ago, where they went from, and maybe it was even in the pandemic, I don't quite have like a timeline just written out or in my mind, but. It was, you know, more recently they went through a rebrand from Vapor Organic Beauty to just Vapor Beauty. And they were still using more organic stuff in their ingredients, but it wasn't like how the original Vapor Organic Beauty was, where it was like super duper like organic, natural, clean, all of that. So I'm using the really old primer. This was one of my favorite primers of theirs. I love that old vapor scent. It just smelled so fresh. This actually hasn't gone 
bad per se, meaning it doesn't smell bad. Should I probably have gotten rid of it? Yeah, but when they switched around, I kept a couple of things around and this is one of them. My dog is licking his paws one second. I thought we could maybe make it through this without them making noise, like background noise and stuff, but it's dog walking time for a lot of people who are just getting home from work. So I'm just a little bit nervous that they're gonna go off and just with that one like grooming himself. Yeah, one second. So I know that the primer portion of this was a little bit hectic, but they are in a different room now, so they won't be bothering us. So primer wise, um, the Essential Daily Primer felt more like a serum -y lotion, like a really lightweight serum -y lotion. And it felt nice on the skin. Um, I do prefer this primer, this stick one out of all of them. I just feel like it gave me kind of like a slick, it feels like it has silicones in it, but it doesn't. So I think that was just like a really nice formulation and very unique. And then the Gentle Illuminating Primer, this one was a little too thick for me in my opinion. Like it just didn't absorb into the skin very well. It has too much oil in it, I feel. So the newer release primers, I didn't love as much. The daily was fine, but the illuminating one, it just, again, a little bit too thick and too much oil. Like this one for me, just right. The Stratus, just right. It, such a good one. So I, I'm sad that one's gone. It has been for a while, but I'm sad that the brand is going away as well. So this is one that I haven't loved because it's a little bit too light in coverage for my taste. I think it's nice for like under the eye highlighting kind of thing and concealing, but I don't love it as a foundation. So this is the Luminous Foundation in 100L. The reason I don't like it is it's pretty light coverage. And usually with the stick foundation, I actually want something a little bit fuller coverage. So, if you're into that, like it's it's fine. There's nothing horribly wrong with it, but I just personally prefer something with a little bit more coverage, especially in this cream form. So I was always kind of surprised by that. But as a concealer, it's okay. You know, it's like nice and light under the eyes and it doesn't like crease up or like bunch up because it's too heavy. So again, I think as a concealer, it's fine. As like a light concealer, on blemishes, etc., or if you just have really good skin naturally, it's pretty decent, but I actually am going to go in with something fuller coverage. So I zoomed you all in so you could just see this and how it looks. Like because of that primer, it has some illumination under it to add almost a diffusing look across my skin to make it look more flawless. So using it with that primer, it's okay, but I still can see like some redness that I have and I still want just a little bit more coverage. So that stick was one that I would never have like repurchased or anything, but because I have it, I'm gonna use it today. And I don't have one of their concealers. I actually never really liked Vapor's concealer. Their foundation and this one specifically is really good. So this is the Velvet Glow Foundation. I have this in 100V. The thing about this, I wish that they just would have launched or I guess relaunched Vapor with this product. I know that like, I'm just being Monday morning quarterback sitting here telling you all my opinions, but I feel like the coverage of it and the versatility of it as a product was much better than this stick foundation that's very light coverage. And then the soft focus foundation, I kind of give it like a similar rating as the Gentle Illuminating Primer. They have a very similar consistency where they have too much oil to them, like, and they're just a little bit too heavy. And I just felt like it never really absorbed into my skin, like the original Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation. So I never loved this as much as, you know, I loved the original. So yeah, but this Velvet Glow was a really good product and they only launched it with like eight shades or something. So I wish they would have put more attention onto this product and just launch this as their like foundation and then maybe come out with the other ones later. But this one was like one that kind of got cast aside because they discontinued this. And I've talked with my friend who, she has a channel on here, her name's Katie. She's a makeup artist and this was her favorite to use as well. And she's worked with a lot of clean products and stuff. And I just think it's, it truly is one of the best 
foundations from them and it just gives really good coverage and it absorbs into the skin with still leaving behind really good coverage because a lot of times things like dissipate and you know don't leave anything but this actually just absorbs nicely into the skin it gives you a nice glow I haven't used this in a bit but just using it now I'm like yeah this is the one I liked from them and again it absorbs into the skin it doesn't feel heavy it's pretty lightweight and I felt like this could have competed with like the Ilia and the Kosas face oils more so than this guy or the stick foundation. Like I think these were different than those, but I think people and ex people meaning me really like the kind of like oil suspension pigment foundation skin tint thing. I just think they work. That's why everyone releases them. One thing about vapor is brushes work nicely with their stuff, but straight up fingers and like the heat from your fingers, I have always or has always worked the best. Okay, so a little bit of setting powder. This is my favorite or one of my favorite pressed setting powders in the like clean green beauty space. So I'm sad that they won't be making this anymore because it's so lightweight. And this is what I recommended is like, kind of a sister or what I've recommended in the past is a sister product to the 14E setting powder because this one's pressed, that one's loose. These are both super lightweight and that's what I appreciate about them both because some setting powders can be a little bit like heavy and cakey and these ones like just really absorb into the skin and like mattify but also you'll just see as I put it on, it leaves behind some of that glow as well from my other products because I do like to have like a healthy, you know, glow that doesn't look super donut face, like glazed donut oily face or whatever. Okay, so bronzer. I actually have really liked this bronzer. I've been using it this week as my contour. I also used it as an eyeshadow too. So that's how I'm going to use it today. So I, I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. I put it like pretty high, but this tone goes really nicely with my skin tone. I know this is super cute, but you'll see. And then I also just take the product directly and put it on my finger so I can contour my nose this way. Just a little bit easier because this is a fat, fat stick. And I'm also using it in my crease because I don't really like Vapor's eyeshadow quads, unfortunately. They just never worked for me and I just didn't think they were that pigment or creamy or easy to work with. But this in the crease worked very nice. And clearly I'm like going a little bit like down, not just into the crease too, but that's fine. So I'm just using my handy dandy, very old stippling brush to blend this out. So I have two of the multi-use. So I have one in Sultry and the other one that I have is Intrigue. I'm going to use Intrigue today on my cheek. So one thing about these, they were not as pigment as their original multi-use sticks. Like I'm really pressing this into my skin to get some payoff. These were fine, not a fave. Their original multi-use I loved. These are much waxier and just harder to work with in general. So that's that on that. This is actually the first vapor product that I ever tried. So it's the Halo Illuminator in Moonlight. So this is from the original vapor line, the original vapor organic beauty line. I also have their Moonlight Highlight Stick as well, but I wanna use my favorites and I do like the Moonlight enough. Like it was pretty easy to use, had decent illumination, but Halo was like, Chef's Kiss, my favorite cream illuminator. So just that I'm going to keep this around. I'm going to use it maybe on and off camera. We'll see if I kind of bring it back onto the channel because I don't like to like support using expired makeup. But at the same time, this is just such a good one. Like I love it. It just is the perfect like how it just like infuses into the skin it's just so creamy and easy to blend out has the right amount of illumination that's why i've kept it around i also have their 24 karat gold from their original i didn't love this one as much as i loved halo because halo was just like everything 
Okay, and then I'm going to use the Moonlight Stick on my eyes because I used the bronzer. They have the exact same packaging, just different products inside. So I'm using my finger and I'm just pressing this into my lid. I do not have one of Vapor's eyeliner pencils, so I'm just using some Jones Road just to give a little bit of definition to my lash line. So I do have one of their brow pencils and I have this in shade Dusk. So this is a more taupey shade and I'm just focusing this on the back part of my brows and then I'll kind of bring some of the pigment up to the front part. I don't like when my brows are like front heavy and not back heavy. It just doesn't look as natural on me. So unfortunately, I ne I just never really liked Vapor's eye products in general. So I don't have their mascara because mascara you have to get rid of pretty often. So I'm using Talk Beauty's mascara on my lashes. Again, eye products like their brow pencil was pretty decent, but I just never really liked their shadows or mascaras. I'm not sure if I ever tried an eyeliner. I just don't really remember. All right, so there's my eye look. Again, I did use the Vapor Bronzer and the Illuminator as my eyeshadow. I think it looks really nice and pretty subtle, but it gives, you know, a little bit of glow and illumination to my eyes to like make them a little bit wider awake. So I do have a couple of Vapor lip products. So I have their Lip Nectar in Hint. So this is a really nice, lightweight, moisturizing lip balm, lip tint product. And it's just a nice pink shade. So I did like their lipsticks. They're pretty opaque and they are, you have to work with it a little bit. So let's apply it together. I do want to use a lip pencil, which I don't have a vapor one. So I'm just using my Jane Iredell Spice lip pencil. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this hint to my bottom lip just so you guys can see what it kind of looks like it's a little bit like juicier looking lips and I think it's a little bit softer just in feeling and more like moisturizing to the lip I do want to use this on top this almost works better having something a little bit bombier underneath because just in remembering it when I used it more in like its heyday it was a little bit drier, which is kind of nice because it does hint the lips or stain the lips. But I like this shade because it's like a burnt brick shade. Like it's not quite like in your face super red. It has some more like orange tones to it as well and brown. All right guys, so this is my final look for my Ode to Vapor. Um, yeah, I'm sad about this closing. Straight up I am. I'm not shocked. Like, I mean, I think initially I was shocked when I got the email because it just wasn't something I was expecting on Monday. But we've seen so much change from them. And a lot of times, like, a lot of change comes and either you grow or you flounder. And I, I'm not saying flounder is it, that's just the only term I know how to use. And I think that's why they're shutting doors. We've seen them kind of rebrand and go in a different direction. And I just don't think from there they could really like grow and expand out to like what they wanted to be. And I'm sad about this, but you know, onward and upward in kind of the like clean, small indie space. There will always be new brands launching, but I truly feel like Vapor was the OG in this space. And I have a lot of respect for them and I have a lot of respect for their founders. So. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. So I'm trying to get on a more regular filming schedule. We're almost done with this house guys. So this reno will be done before the end of the year, which I'm very happy about because I just want to roll into 2023, have a regular three day a week filming schedule. But right now I'm having to film at weird times. Sometimes I don't get, it just, it's a whole thing. Um, having people in your house making loud noises makes it a little difficult. So, you know, this is the time I had to film today. So this is what I'm doing. But I will see you guys again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.